These are the images they don't want you to see, the proof that could change everything. But the clock is ticking. These leaked photos might not last long. Witness them now before they disappear forever. A stunning breakthrough reveals photos allegedly stolen from Area 51, igniting debates and curiosity like never before. For decades, this top secret facility has been at the heart of countless UFO conspiracies. But these newly surfaced images might just be the most compelling evidence yet. In September 2012, during a press conference, viewers noticed that his eyes seemed to transform into... What do these photos show? Could they finally prove the existence of extraterrestrial life? Join us as we talk about the mystery, explore expert analyses, and uncover the truth behind these astonishing images from one of the world's most secretive locations. UFOs are real. We have proof. The United States military has been studying them. There's one case in particular that I can't stop thinking of. Public interest in unidentified flying objects, UFOs, now officially referred to as unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, has surged in recent years. This heightened curiosity has been fueled by several key events and revelations. In 2017, the New York Times published an article disclosing the existence of a secretive Pentagon program, the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, AATIP, which investigated UAP sightings. This report included declassified videos of UAP encounters recorded by US Navy pilots showing mysterious objects performing maneuvers that defied known physics and aerodynamics. In 2020, the Pentagon officially released these videos, further igniting public fascination and speculation. This transparency marked a significant shift in the government's approach to UAPs, moving from decades of denial and obfuscation to open acknowledgement. In June 2021, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, released a preliminary assessment on UAPs, which analyzed 144 sightings by military personnel between 2004 and 2021. The report concluded that most of these phenomena remained unexplained, urging for more scientific investigation and data collection. The government's newfound openness about UAPs has spurred various public figures and officials to call for greater transparency. For instance, former President Barack Obama and former CIA Director John Brennan have both made public statements acknowledging the existence of unexplained aerial phenomena. Congressional hearings on UAPs have further legitimized the issue, with lawmakers emphasizing the need for a coordinated response to these potential national security concerns. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots? Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. In the summer of 2019, a Facebook event titled Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, went viral, capturing the imagination of millions. Created by college student Matty Roberts as a joke, the event proposed that participants would gather in the Nevada desert on September 20th, 2019, and attempt to storm the highly classified Area 51 military base to uncover the rumored secrets about extraterrestrial okay, so life held there. Um, what happened when we die? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The event quickly gained traction, with nearly 2 million people RSVPing on Facebook and an additional 1.5 million expressing interest. The massive response prompted serious concerns from local and federal authorities. The US Air Force, which operates the base, issued a stern warning against any attempts to trespass, emphasizing that Area 51 is an active military installation with significant security measures in place. Despite the creator's clarification that the event was a joke, law enforcement agencies prepared for potential large-scale gatherings. 
Reports indicated that dozens of agencies, including local police and federal authorities, coordinated to develop contingency plans. These included deploying automated deadly force countermeasures if necessary to protect the base from potential incursions. As the date approached, the initial enthusiasm for storming Area 51 waned. Roberts pivoted the focus to Alien Stock, a music festival celebrating UFO culture held in the nearby town of Rachel, Nevada. The event drew a few thousand attendees who gathered to enjoy the festivities rather than attempt an invasion of the base. Ultimately, no significant breaches of Area 51 occurred, and the event concluded without major incidents. The Storm Area 51 inches phenomenon, despite its anticlimactic end, had a lasting impact on public awareness and interest in UFOs. It revealed the widespread fascination with Area 51 and the enduring belief in government-held secrets about extraterrestrial life. The media coverage surrounding Storm Area 51 inches and the subsequent government responses contributed to a broader cultural conversation about UFOs. Polls conducted around the time revealed that a significant portion of the American public believed in the existence of extraterrestrial life and suspected that the government was hiding information from the public. For instance, an Ipsos poll found that 52% of Americans believed extraterrestrial life exists and a quarter thought that crashed UFOs were held at Area 51. As we get into the details of the alleged theft of alien photos from Area 51, the question remains. Could this be the breakthrough we've been waiting for? Or is it another layer of the intricate web of mystery surrounding Area 51? The first whispers of the leak began circulating on underground forums and niche websites dedicated to UFO and alien conspiracies. These early reports were often dismissed as hoaxes or misinformation. However, the situation escalated when a well-known whistleblower with a history of credible leaks hinted at the existence of these photos. The timeline can be broken down into several key phases. In the first month, anonymous posts on internet forums and niche websites started mentioning the existence of alien photos stolen from Area 51. These posts gained little traction initially. By the second month, a credible whistleblower with a track record of exposing government secrets hinted at the photo's existence, lending legitimacy to the claims. Looked like a science fiction movie, literally. Then, the scene unfolds, and the rest is history. I watched the entire autopsy of this creature, pretty much. This sparked increased interest and speculation. In the third month, a few low-resolution images purported to be from the stolen photos surfaced on social media platforms. These images quickly went viral, attracting the attention of mainstream media and the general public. By the fourth month, the government issued a vague statement denying the authenticity of the photos, but refused to comment further, citing national security concerns. This response fueled further speculation and conspiracy theories. In the fifth month, various independent investigators, including journalists and UFO researchers, started digging into the leak, uncovering more details and possible evidence supporting the existence of the photos. The initial reactions to the leaked photos were mixed. Skeptics quickly dismissed the images as fabrications, pointing to inconsistencies and the lack of verifiable sources. However, the UFO community and conspiracy theorists were abuzz with excitement, seeing the leak as potential proof of extraterrestrial life. The media's coverage of the leak varied, with some outlets treating it as a serious story, while others approached it with skepticism. Prominent UFO researchers and former government officials were interviewed, providing expert opinions and analysis. The controversy surrounding the photo's authenticity only added to the intrigue and public interest. As the story gained traction, social media platforms were flooded with discussions, memes, and speculative theories. 
the debate over the photo's legitimacy and the methods of their theft dominated online forums and news cycles. The theft of the alien photos from Area 51 has been shrouded in mystery and speculation. The methods by which these photos were allegedly stolen vary, with theories ranging from insider involvement to sophisticated hacking. One of the most plausible theories suggests that the theft involved someone with access to the highly secure Area 51 facility. Insiders, such as employees or contractors, would have the necessary clearance and knowledge to navigate the complex security systems. These individuals could potentially smuggle out sensitive information without immediately raising suspicion. Reports indicate that insiders might have used USB drives or other portable storage devices to copy the photos. Given the tight security protocols at Area 51, such actions would require meticulous planning and execution. The involvement of an insider is further supported by the intricate understanding of the facility's layout and security measures that would be necessary to avoid detection. Another prominent theory revolves around the use of advanced hacking techniques to breach the security systems of Area 51. Cybersecurity experts have long warned about the vulnerabilities even in the most secure facilities. Sophisticated hackers, possibly with state-sponsored support, could exploit these vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to classified data. In this scenario, hackers would need to penetrate multiple layers of security, including firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and encrypted databases. The use of zero-day exploits and other advanced methods could facilitate such a breach. Once inside the network, hackers could exfiltrate data without leaving a trace, making it difficult for investigators to pinpoint the exact method of the theft. Beyond insider involvement and hacking, other potential methods include social engineering and physical breaches. Social engineering involves manipulating individuals into divulging confidential information or granting access to secure areas. This could be achieved through phishing attacks, pretexting, or other psychological tactics. Physical breaches, though less likely given the high security at Area 51, cannot be entirely ruled out. These would involve bypassing physical barriers and security personnel to gain direct access to the storage locations of the photos. However, the risk and complexity of such an operation make it a less favored theory. With the details of the alleged theft now laid bare, the next logical step is to examine the content of these mysterious photos. What do these images reveal about extraterrestrial life, and how credible are they? The analysis of the alleged alien photos from Area 51 reveals a fascinating collection of images that have ignited widespread debate. These photos are claimed to depict various forms of extraterrestrial life and unidentified flying objects, UFOs, captured in high resolution and with remarkable clarity. The first set of images shows what appear to be extraterrestrial beings. These beings are humanoid in shape, standing between four to five feet tall, with large almond-shaped eyes and slender bodies. The skin tone of these entities varies from gray to a pale blue. The level of detail in the photos is extraordinary, capturing the texture of the skin, which appears to be smooth and somewhat reflective. One particularly striking image shows a group of these beings standing beside what seems to be a metallic structure, potentially a spacecraft. The second set of photos focuses on the spacecraft itself. The craft is disc-shaped, consistent with the classic depiction of flying saucers in popular culture. The surface of the craft is metallic, with a smooth, seamless exterior that reflects light. Intricate patterns and markings are visible on the surface, resembling hieroglyphs or some form of alien script. The craft's size is estimated to be around 50 feet in diameter based on the surrounding objects for scale. One photo captures the craft in mid-air, hovering silently above the desert floor with no visible means of propulsion. 
A third set of images depicts the interior of the spacecraft. The photos show a minimalist design with advanced technology, far beyond current human capabilities. The walls are lined with panels that emit a soft blue glow. There are no visible seams or joints, suggesting the use of materials and construction techniques unknown to modern science. One image shows what appears to be a control panel with holographic displays and controls that are not physically connected, but rather projected into mid-air. The overall aesthetic is sleek and functional, emphasizing efficiency and technological sophistication. The clarity of these photos is another point of contention. Unlike many previous UFO photos, which are often blurry or indistinct, these images are sharp and well-defined. The high resolution allows for close examination of the details, from the texture of the alien skin to the symbols on the spacecraft. This level of clarity has led some to argue that the photos are genuine, as fabricating such detailed images would require significant expertise and resources. Comparisons with previous alleged UFO photos and videos show the unique nature of these new images. Historically, UFO sightings have been documented in grainy black and white photos or shaky video footage. The famous 1947 Roswell incident, for example, produced photos of debris that were inconclusive and open to interpretation. More recent sightings, such as the 2004 Nimitz encounter, involved infrared video captured by military jets, showing amorphous shapes and erratic movements. In contrast, the Area 51 photos offer unprecedented clarity and detail, making them stand out in the annals of UFO documentation. Despite the compelling nature of the images, skeptics point out several issues. The absence of corroborative evidence, such as radar data or additional eyewitness accounts, raises questions about the photo's authenticity. Additionally, the possibility of sophisticated hoaxes utilizing advanced digital editing techniques cannot be dismissed. Modern technology allows for the creation of highly realistic images and videos, making it difficult to differentiate between genuine and fabricated content. Could these photos represent the most significant discovery in human history? Or are they merely another chapter in the ongoing saga of UFO hoaxes and misinformation. The verification of the alleged alien photos from Area 51 involves several rigorous methods to determine their authenticity. Experts from various fields, including digital forensics, photo analysis, and ufology, have employed a range of techniques to examine these images. One primary method used in the authentication process is expert analysis. Digital forensics experts scrutinize the photos for any signs of manipulation or fabrication. They analyze the pixel structure, lighting, shadows, and any inconsistencies that might indicate the use of photo editing software. Advanced tools and algorithms help detect anomalies that the human eye might miss. In the case of the Area 51 photos, Experts have paid close attention to the texture of the supposed alien skin, the reflective properties of the spacecraft, and the holographic displays within the craft. Their findings so far have not conclusively proved the photos to be fake, but they emphasize the need for further, more detailed examination. Metadata examination is another critical step in verifying the authenticity of these images. Metadata, or the data embedded within digital files, provides information about the photo's origin, including the date and time it was taken, the camera used, and sometimes even the GPS coordinates. By examining the metadata, analysts can determine whether the photos align with the claimed timeline of events. In this case, the metadata from the Area 51 photos shows timestamps and location data that correspond with the known layout of Area 51, adding a layer of credibility to the claims. However, metadata can be manipulated, so this method is used in conjunction with other verification efforts. Comparing the photos with known Area 51 layouts is also crucial. 
Experts cross-reference the background and environmental features in the photos with satellite imagery and maps of Area 51. They look for identifiable landmarks, building structures and geographical features that can confirm the photos were indeed taken at the highly restricted site. Initial comparisons have shown a high degree of correlation between the photo backgrounds and the known terrain of Area 51, although some discrepancies have raised questions that are still being investigated. In addition to technical analyses, statements from government officials and whistleblowers play a significant role in the verification process. For instance, a retired engineer who worked at Area 51 during the 1980s claimed that the photos resemble some of the secret projects he witnessed, lending weight to the notion that they could be genuine. In the historical context, ufologists have noted that claims of alien encounters and government cover-ups have a long and controversial history. The photos from Area 51 are seen by some as the latest piece in a puzzle that spans decades. Researchers like Stanton Friedman and Jacques Vallée have spent their careers documenting and analyzing such claims, often facing skepticism and ridicule from the mainstream scientific community. The new photos provide them with fresh material to support their theories, although they caution that rigorous scientific investigation is necessary to draw any definitive conclusions. But how do skeptics view these claims and what counter-arguments do they present? Skeptics and debunkers have provided detailed analyses of the alleged alien photos from Area 51, offering various explanations to challenge their authenticity. One of the primary arguments from skeptics is that the photos may depict advanced military technology rather than extraterrestrial beings or crafts. Area 51 has long been known as a testing ground for cutting-edge aerospace technology, including the development of stealth aircraft like the U-2 and SR-71 Blackbird. Skeptics suggest that the images might show experimental military vehicles or drones that are not yet publicly disclosed. This theory posits that the unusual shapes and features of the objects in the photos could be attributed to top-secret military advancements rather than alien origins. Natural phenomena also serve as a possible explanation for the images. Skeptics propose that the strange shapes and lights captured in the photos might be the result of atmospheric conditions, optical illusions, or even camera malfunctions. For instance, lenticular clouds, ball lightning, and other atmospheric anomalies have often been mistaken for UFOs. They argue that what appears to be an alien spacecraft could simply be a misinterpreted natural occurrence or a photographic artifact. Let's see how government officials and insiders have responded to the alleged theft and the subsequent leak of these controversial images. Are there any revelations or denials from those in positions of authority? The alleged theft of alien photos from Area 51 has stirred significant public interest, prompting responses from various government agencies. These responses, or the lack thereof, offer insight into the government's stance on UFO-related matters and their historical approach to such incidents. The Pentagon has been at the forefront of responding to recent UFO phenomena. In 2020, the Department of Defense established the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena UAP, task force to investigate and understand the nature of UAPs. This initiative demonstrated a shift toward greater transparency and acknowledgement of the potential existence of unexplained aerial incidents. However, in response to the alleged theft of alien photos from Area 51, the Pentagon has remained notably silent. Official statements typically emphasize the importance of national security and the protection of classified information without directly addressing the specifics of such leaks. Similarly, the CIA has a long history of involvement in UFO investigations dating back to the Cold War era. Documents released through the Freedom of Information Act reveal that the CIA monitored UFO sightings and incidents closely, 
often attributing them to advanced military technology or foreign adversaries rather than extraterrestrial sources. In light of the recent claims regarding stolen photos from Area 51, the CIA has not issued any direct statements, maintaining its traditional stance of limited public disclosure on matters related to national security and intelligence operations. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, also plays a role in investigating breaches of classified information. Historically, the FBI has been involved in various UFO-related investigations, often focusing on potential security threats posed by unidentified aerial phenomena. Despite the sensational nature of the alleged theft, the FBI has yet to release any public statements addressing the incident specifically. Government agencies tend to downplay or deflect attention from UFO-related incidents, often citing the need to protect national security interests. For example, during the infamous Roswell incident in 1947, the initial excitement over a reported flying saucer crash quickly turned into a narrative about a weather balloon, a pattern seen repeatedly in UFO cases over the decades. Moving on, how does the potential existence of extraterrestrial life and the government's handling of related information impact our understanding of the universe? Are we on the brink of a paradigm shift in our comprehension of life beyond Earth, or are we simply entangled in an elaborate web of secrecy and misinformation? Throughout history, several significant incidents have fueled the public's fascination with the possibility of extraterrestrial life. One significant incident occurred in 1952 when multiple UFOs were spotted over Washington, D.C., triggering radar alerts and visual sightings by both military personnel and civilians. The event led to a military investigation and a press conference by the Air Force, which attributed the sightings to temperature inversions, causing radar anomalies. Despite this explanation, the incident remains a cornerstone of UFO law. Adding to these historical events is the 1961 Betty and Barney Hill abduction case, which remains one of the most famous and thoroughly investigated alien abduction stories. The Hills claimed they were taken aboard a spacecraft and subjected to medical examinations by extraterrestrial beings. Their detailed accounts and the physical evidence they presented, such as Betty's dress showing unexplained damage and strange marks on their car, have intrigued both believers and skeptics alike. Another significant event is the 1976 Tehran UFO incident. Iranian Air Force pilots encountered a UFO that disabled their instrumentation and communications equipment when they attempted to engage. This incident was corroborated by multiple radar sites and remains unexplained, even after thorough investigations by both Iranian and US military personnel. Each event has contributed to a growing body of anecdotal evidence and has perpetuated the belief that the government is concealing information about extraterrestrial life. The confirmation of extraterrestrial life would have implications for both science and religion. Scientifically, it would revolutionize our understanding of biology, evolution, and the potential for life beyond Earth. The discovery would prompt a re-evaluation of the conditions necessary for life and might lead to new branches of research in astrobiology and planetary science. The Drake Equation, formulated by Dr. Frank Drake in 1961, estimates the number of active, communicative, extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. Confirmation of extraterrestrial life would provide empirical data to refine this equation and improve our understanding of the factors that contribute to the emergence of life. Additionally, it would validate efforts like the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SET, which has been scanning the cosmos for signals from alien civilizations for decades. In terms of technological advancements, the existence of extraterrestrial life could provide insights into advanced technologies that humanity has yet to develop. 
Understanding the propulsion systems and materials used by potential alien spacecraft could lead to breakthroughs in transportation, energy, and materials science, propelling human technology to new heights. Religiously, the discovery of extraterrestrial life would challenge many traditional beliefs and doctrines. For instance, the Catholic Church has historically maintained a geocentric view of the universe, with Earth as the center of God's creation. The realization that life exists elsewhere would require theological adjustments to reconcile this new reality with established teachings. Some religious leaders, like the Vatican's chief astronomer, have expressed openness to the idea, suggesting that the discovery of alien life would not necessarily contradict religious beliefs, but rather expand our understanding of God's creation. Different religions might react in various ways, ranging from embracing the discovery as evidence of a diverse creation to grappling with the theological implications of life beyond Earth. The potential for religious upheaval or enlightenment would depend largely on how religious leaders and communities interpret and integrate the discovery into their worldviews. The alleged theft of alien photos from Area 51 marks a potential turning point in UFO research and government transparency. Historically, the government has maintained a tight grip on information related to UFOs, often citing national security concerns. However, the growing public interest and the increasing volume of credible sightings have led to a shift in this approach. In recent years, the US government has shown a greater willingness to acknowledge and investigate UFO phenomena. In 2020, the Department of Defense established the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, UAP, task force to systematically examine and analyze sightings of unexplained aerial objects. The release of the UAP report in June 2021 marked a significant step towards transparency, though it left many questions unanswered. The leak from Area 51 could accelerate this trend towards openness. If the photos are verified, it would put immense pressure on the government to disclose more information about its UFO research and findings. Public demand for transparency is likely to increase, potentially leading to legislative action to declassify UFO-related documents and promote open scientific inquiry. The future of UFO research will likely involve greater collaboration between government agencies, private researchers, and the scientific community. Advanced technologies such as machine learning and artificial intelligence could play a crucial role in analyzing large datasets of sightings and identifying patterns that might indicate extraterrestrial activity. Additionally, international cooperation could enhance the scope and depth of research as UFO phenomena are not confined to any single country.